Hey guys, welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. And today's the day of the trial. How are we gonna do this one? Uh, I don't know, cause I literally forgot all the evidence. <laughs> Whoopsies! But, you know, we, we're pretty good at this, right? We got this. Man, I read the, ju the Judge Judy manga. I know how to court, you know. Call sound session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. <laughs> the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Uh, yeah, what he said. Phoenix, you know you're not the prosecutor. Oh, whatever. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening stomach, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Ain't that what you said the last time I would have? I see. I would like to move on to some testimonies. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well. I call a most familiar face. Detective Gumshoe to the stand. <laughs> this poor guy. I've been here more than I've been at the office. God dang, I should just get a get a bed here. Gee, um, Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Uh, yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. Pass them around, take one, pass it back, you know, everyone's got a little- Okay, so, I drew this myself. Keep that in mind, but to understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio. Say, this is where is the employee area. What's up with that? I, I can't hide the text, but there's like a, a thing. The dump? What? The actors did a run through, see? Other action scene during the morning here. Yeah. This is the main gate to the studio. This is the old lady there that works the studio. At 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station, there's a gate. It's a weird monkey thing. Frankly, he scares me. Yeah, yeah. And here it is. Studio. Oh no. Yeah. This is the scene of the murder. Where the body was found. Okay. Now on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hamer. The defendant, also known as the murderer, Will Powers. And a young woman, the production assistant. Oh. Hold on, what? Only three people? And it's all big behind studio? Okay. Oh, <laughs> whatever you say. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then the victim went over there, yeah. After lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. I jumped ahead a little later, you know, not too much. It's 5 p.m. Production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. Yeah, because he got killed. Gosh, his face there is really gruesome, jeez. Time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's all I got. That's the case. Anyone like to hear that again? No, your long-winded explanation was awful. I think I'm good. <laughs> Gosh. Also, like, real talk, I finally have an excuse for not being able to read. I literally do not have my glasses today. I'm very nearsighted. My contacts, they burn my eyes. So, uh, yeah, I'll try my best to read today. <laughs> um, I think I can probably remember that. Maybe. So the murder weapon was this here Lance Longinus, correct? How medieval. Yeah. <laughs> you can hold on to a phoenix. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Your Honor, the case is quite simple. If you ask one question, and that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Well, what did she see? Let's call the security officer to the stand. All right. This will be over pretty quick if she screws up a lot like the last person. Will the witness declare her name? <laughs> Forgot her voice. Crap. What was it again? Mm ah! What the crud? My, aren't you a handsome fella? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Uh, uh, uh. 
your name, please. Wait, I realized I'm back home. I can slam on my desk. Yeah! Woohoo! I like doing that. What can I say? Oh, dearie. No need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grant. Ew. Y your name, please! Seems Edgeworth has a bit of problem talking to girl. I mean, has trouble getting his witness to say their names. Wendy old bag, dearie. Just call me grandma. I mean, so even when I was young, I was an old bag, you see. I mean, I just could not believe gushes. What, how they were made. What the? Shut up! Oh my god! Objection! I object to the witness talkativeness! Objection S sustained? What? Okay, um, uh. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. Now, come on, now, that's my thing. I was just gonna get to the good part. Oh my god, dearie. Uh, perhaps we can get to the testimony? I would appreciate that. Now the witness says, uh, station at the main gate on the day of the murder, right? Yes, I, y y yes, I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you, huh? You know your stuff, dear. Well, he literally just said it, but all right. You may begin your testimony. I'm a married man, all right? She sure is one heck of an old bag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so... Did the classical girl really do it? Like, what the crud? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Ham and the rest of them been doing a run through since the morning. I have... Uh, I had some errands to run that morning. Okay. Anyway, it was 1 p.m. when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from there until 5. Now the murder happened at 2.30, right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked by... A certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. That is technically not true. You couldn't confirm if it was a male or female person. It was Powers. That man walked right through there and was heading toward the studio. That's what we gotta, we gotta press. You saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross thing. You alright? Uh, yeah, on it. I guess. <laughs> they get increasingly less formal as time goes on, but... I already made up my mind. I don't need to read the rest of these. I just need to see what the crawl... When I saw that man. Yeah. I saw a man walk by wait what is my evidence anyway oh we don't really have that much pierce through the spear by a chest and then we have the actual spear and then this one so we'd have to probably say that I mean it's the first stinking thing right how hard can it be yeah 2 p.m. you're sure I sure spit what what huh well, uh, who was the man Really, you should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. Why do you want to talk? Come on. Now, now, don't get your, your skivvies all in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. I don't think you can. I mean, the time isn't the issue there either. What the? Ah, uh, Nick. Doesn't she seem like she's enjoying this a little too much? Yeah, I mean, she probably doesn't get out a lot. Windbags love gossiping about other people's misfortunes. <sighs> Can't she get her kick somewhere else? God, we got crap to do. Um, maybe it isn't that after all. On the day the murder arrived at the guard at, yeah, one. Okay. I also just realized this segment is a lie. Because she says, poor old Hammer and the rest were doing run-throughs since the morning. I had some errands to run that morning. Do you guys remember the picture where she's literally watching them doing their warm-ups? Like, that is an evidence, but that is a clear contradiction. I... I think I want to press that, actually. So, I'd say that here, right? So, yeah. I, I want to know about this. What kind of errands? Dang it, that's not what I meant. Oh, oh, well, you know... No, I don't! Answer the question! <laughs> it's not that serious. Yes, she's right there! Actually, I was watching Mr. Powers and Hammer. Observing, you know, that's not an errand, Missy. Uh, observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard sta- That's another point. Who? Tons of people could have gone to Studio One. Nah, they need the card key, though. Crud. whip a snapper I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. You didn't say that. 
I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Uh, anyway, I always watch Hammer's run-throughs. Always. Never missed one in my many years. Uh, wow, I want to see Steel Samurai run-through. Too bad I never will. Screw you, whoever killed him. I don't know yet. Could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. <laughs> That's not... I, I don't see that as climbing the corporate ladder, but... Not a bad idea. Maya, no, stay in school! Psychic school. Okay, we're getting nowhere, dude. So if it wasn't any of those, it was powers. That man right there was heading toward the studio. If I press this, and she changes her story, and then I present the photo, maybe that'll work. So you saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said. Go wax and yeah, Sonny. Up, uh, Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. Okay, that's that settles it. I'll say it again. It was him. Mario. I feel like she's the type of woman that would say Mario instead of Mario. And if that's not enough to send you to jail, I don't know what is. Take the... I don't know if she did it yet, but whatever. Let me get this straight, old bag. Er, miss old bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? You're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Oh, uh, just wait a moment, Phoenix. Let me see that thing. Okay. <laughs> Pulls like a paper airplane and throws it to him. Oh, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> what is this exactly? None other than Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. <laughs> Maya gets really mad. Like you know. <laughs> Miss Old Bag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Uh, uh, of course. Can't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? D shut up. Anyone can plainly see that's powers, right? Wrong. Uh, no, they can't. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> oh my gosh, where is everybody an idiot? Okay. Um, well, I mean, I wonder. <laughs> True. Mr. Powers does play that role of the Steel Samurai. But... That doesn't mean Mr. Powers is in the Steel Samurai suit. Uh, oh, um, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. We can clearly all tell. <laughs> no one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss, uh, Wood. <laughs> <laughs> He's having trouble calling your old bag, apparently. Yeah. Uh, however, <clears throat> you do not have proof that the person in the photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? <laughs> Nosy old man. Hey, well, uh, of course I got proof. Uh, uh, what proof? Uh, huh? What? Even that's worth surprise. What the? What? The prosecution would like to ask the old witness. Please make known all information in possession ahead of time. Uh, how was I supposed to? How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of us. Anyway. I know the photo to the young detective. He told me this ain't any... Wait, he told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Edgeworth is so mad. Why is everyone stupid? Wow, an old bag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. <laughs> well, let's hear about your proof then, all right? Yeah, please. I'm pretty sure it's not going to help your case because... The girl could also have been in the... Anybody could have been in the suit. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke off the pro... Yeah, he broke the spear. What's up with that? He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Oh, gosh, what an idiot. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at the picture. Ugh. <sighs> I don't agree. Wait, but the spear is still intact. Hold up. How can you, can't you see he's dragging his leg? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was powers. Happy. Mm, I'm not. So he sprained his ankle? Very well, Mr. Wright, may cross the angle deck. Yeah, she got it. she's gotta be hiding something, but why? I'll press her until she squeals. That sounded really we Okay, get focused. Gone. All right. Jesus. <laughs> My phrasing. Anyway. I never say nothing. Shut up. Okay. The morning during the run through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. 
but then why is... <sighs> Shoot, I could just present this right now. But I'll press just to be a good boy, I guess. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. The murder weapon. Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to... To fix it. Yeah, it actually does have tape on it. The crud. This strikes me as a significant detail. Yeah, no kidding. I better write this down, the court record. Okay, so we had to do that. Sick. But... What do we object to? You can see him dragging his... But, like... <sighs> was the girl there? I, I forget her name, but the girl with glasses and freckles and the adorable smile. You know, the one. Frickin'... Was she there to see that he was dragging it? I don't think so. That's weird. That's how I know it was Mr. Powers. But hold on. Okay, I'm just gonna use the spear. Wait, is the spear in our possession? Yeah, it does have tape on it. Crap. It also says that it was mended with duct tape. So we can't... We can't... I don't know. What the crud do I do? This is, this is actually not that obvious. That's how I know it was Mr. Powers. Uh, I guess... Yeah, there's no downside... I want to be fast about this, but yeah, I just need to press all of what she's saying, because I legitimately don't know. Still, you don't look at this and say it's Mr. Powers. Uh, come on. Yes, but only Mr. Powers would have been dragging his leg. He has a point. It does seem quite likely that it was Powers. But <sighs> there's got to be more to this. I better keep pressing her. Yeah, all right. So I guess I made the right call in a way. Will Nick find any glaring contradictions? No. It's really sus that I can't. She seems pretty sure that that was Powers in that photo. I guess I'll have to press and see if I can find... Yeah, shake her conviction. All right, so uh, I guess in order, let's press this. Uh, um... <laughs> Whip a snap! I haven't said anything yet! What is wrong with you? I'll have you know, I'm not pointing fingers at nobody behind their backs. Everything I said is on is on the straight and narrow, but your youth today... What the... Oh, she's doing this again. <laughs> I thought I pressed A by accident. Mr. Wright. Please, for all sakes, try not to upset the witness. Easier said than done, bro. Oh, my God. I think Edgeworth has met his match. <laughs> yeah, this whole lady... <laughs> Holy crap. All right. Um, More during the run-through of the action scene, so that one was really pointless. I saw Powers trip and fall. Didn't we already press that? I don't know. God, it's so hard to keep track. Trip and fall? Yeah, yes. What, what's wrong with that phrase then? What the crap? Uh, yeah. And to think he's supposed to be the steel samurai. What a laugh. So power sprained his... Wait, yes, yeah, so power sprained his ankle. I helped to make it better for him, of course. You helped to make it better? I kissed it with... Ew. Where her, uh, you know, I used to be a medic back in the Civil War. Okay, <laughs> that was 200 years. What the? Cr okay, uh, let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the? Yeah, her. Where was the assistant then? Oh, her. She was cleaning up uh, backdrops. I think I don't know. A drop-ins. It's hard. I don't. Uh, she didn't know about Power's ankle. Good. I mean, she could be guilty. I don't know, but you know. I don't want her to go to jail. Uh, you may fawn over the <laughs> witness. No, she's, she didn't witness anything, so I guess she isn't. Whatever. You may continue your testimony, please. Okay, he broke his ankle, blah, blah, blah. Okay, apparently, strained his ankle pretty bad. Define pretty bad. Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Because, I mean, he still walked to his bed and slept, right? He could walk that much, right? Not so bad he couldn't walk around, though. He went to his dressing room to rest. Yeah. Thus the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot. Okay. That's bad. Crap. This this just wasted all everyone's time. I think we've heard enough. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Haven't we, Your Honor? Yeah, she sure... Oh, gosh, she can talk. There's one thing that bothers me, though. Which is... Where was the Steel Samurai costume now? Uh, um... Hmm. Uh, actually, we couldn't find it. What? Huh? That's key evidence! What? We're looking, though. Could we look a little better? Like, for real? Anyway, that's not important. I begged to What the dump? 
The witness did see the steel samurai. Yes. So, it's case closed. <laughs> and it's clear the person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Powers. Uh, I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, your honor? I object! And slam! Ugh! Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the steel samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Oh, yes, you're right. Hmm. The defense has a point. For all we know, it could have been me in there. I don't remember yesterday's suit. I could have been. <laughs> Wait, no. I mean, uh. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Power or Hammer, whatever. We have to consider that possibility. <laughs> then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind. Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? Oh, no need to ask me twice. <laughs> I'm gross. All right, witness accounts. Continued again. God. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30. Yeah, that's right. The only person I saw in the studio before then was Mr. Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Wow, that's surprisingly brief for her. What? Thank you, Jesus. You only had like four sentences. So, um, if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross exam. So it's. There's only. Okay. We're closing off that there's four people involved. It's either Mr. Will Powers, it's either her, which I'm not dumb. She killed him for some reason. I don't know why. Or the cute girl. We know the cute girl didn't do it. Like, it, she did it, dude. But how? Like, ugh. I just realized this is a locked room scenario, but it was a locked studio scenario. That's kind of interesting. Time of death was... All right, let me, like, check that. Yeah, that's right. So, can't argue there. The only person I saw in the studio before then was Will Powers. That sounds fishy. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Ugh, crud. This is tough. Okay, I'm gonna press this. Because I, I don't... I don't think she's telling the truth. She, she seems like someone who would really slack off on the job, you know? Oh my god, Edgeworth. The witness has answered that question. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, edgy boy. Edgy boy? What? Uh... Neither of us liked that, uh... Old Wimbag sure... Oh my gosh, that face. <laughs> old Wimbag sure has balls or... Well, you know what I mean. Eggs? Uh, I don't know if she has... The... Okay. <laughs> old Wimbags has a way of skipping over important details after all. Or for that matter, entirely forgetting them. Yeah. How convenient for her. You yeah. know. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps. I... Uh... Crud, I'm stumped here, man. The only person I saw in the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. No one else went to Studio One. So I'm trying to visualize. I completely forgot what <laughs> poor Gum Susan map looks like, but if if that's the case, let me look at the evidence again. Wasn't this number? Yeah, that's photo number two. If I got her. If that's, if this is photo number two, someone else went to, we got her, dude! Oh my god, that's gotta be it. Hold on. Look at this photograph. Doesn't it make you laugh? One more time. <laughs> this photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, the Sonny. So whenever anyone passes by it, it automatically takes a picture. Oh, I I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. I hate you. All right, so... Right. Anyway, it also true that the computer in the ground, the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you want to work at the studio, we might have an opening. I'll pass, but that very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words... October 15th, 2 p.m. photo number two. 
Even I know what it means. It was taken on, yeah, that day. Really, Sonny? Come on, you're wasting all our time. Some of us got families to go back to. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end, where it says photo number two. What's, what's wrong with that? What the cr The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Yeah, we do. She's lying. Shouldn't this photo be photo number one? If it really was the only photo. Dude. The, the, the zoomed out sprite looks so... <laughs> Phoenix just looks so funny, but... Oh no, come on! Ah! Please tell the court what the heck you're getting at. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet, there is only data for one of those photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Maybe the person that literally works there? Only someone with access to the security. The security later herself. Oh my god. She she's guilty of something. Hey, watch your mouth, you whip a snapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. I think you're lying. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, maybe it was a bud. I don't know. Jeez. Uh, that, that's what it would seem to mean. Yeah, but... Can the witness explain this discrepancy? Um, I don't understand these newfangled computer thingies. Oh, edgy boy, help me! Ah! Get off me, woman! Ah! Uh, believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Uh, uh, oh, um, some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Is that the best insult you got? Like, girl, you... Miss, shut your mouth, God. Okay. What the crap is going on? <laughs> I'm in space! Oh gosh, Edward, save me! Oh! Whip, 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 whip a snapper? S something, the, the, the madam is all bad? What the heck was that? Oh, that's right. I I just remembered something conveniently. Oh my god, let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate that you conveniently forgot. Ah, uh, well, yes. I, I, <laughs> I suppose you could put it that way. Jump! This sucks. <sighs> I see. All right. Yeah, testimony, please. Again? How many chances does she get? The other person. Who was it? Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have uh, one more of the important job to do. I go through the photos recording the security camera computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. What? Come to think of it now, I remember throwing out one photo that day. And, and that's it! What? Miss Old Bag. This is the first I've heard of this. Well, you didn't ask, silly willy. <laughs> I've only just remembered it. Uh, right, anyway, uh... Phoenix, please begin your cross-examination. I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. <laughs> God, I hate her! Ugh! This is so annoying! This is the least fun the game has been. Just because it's like, what were you doing on Friday? Oh, you know, I was... I was feeding the birds. What were you doing on Friday night? Oh, you know, feeding the owls. Those are birds, you know? It's like, just, just get your story straight! God! Every day after I finish... Okay. So what is the lie here? What can I... What can I present? She's saying every day. Okay, I just gotta like press here. So every day I finish my guard duties. I have one other important job to do. I guess we can't really argue there. I have the photos recording the security camera and check them. So you checked the first photo. What the crud was on it? You have to tell us. How many photos are there usually? No, just be. Don't ask usually, just be matter of fact. God. On a day where we open the public, there's more than 500 people. I'd find that hard to believe. But on filming days, on rehearsal days, you know, well, we don't got the moolah. We never get more than 50, and that's a big day. Do you back up all of the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes, but mm, those computers are just so frustrating. Ugh, you're no help at all. Why are you even here? Ugh. Kind of think I remember throwing out one. Okay, the one photo. Tell me, tell me, what was on that? God, who the heck? was in that photo you were in. Phoenix language, you're talking to a lady, God. Hmm, a fanboy. What? A 
Fanboy? Still samurai fanboys, they're just the worst. Real freaks, if you ask me. <laughs> Maya's like, Phoenix, kill her! <laughs> I can't do that, Maya, kill her! They got info about the rehearsal from gosh knows where. They always hanging around. <laughs> when was there that day? Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were wor your words, it's we that's it! Uh, well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes in the... That thing. Dude, the drain in the employee area. But what? That's so tiny. The, the grate's been a little loose for a while. It's not my job to fix it, though. You know, I'm a lady after all. You're not my type of thing. Uh, it leaves outside and, well, that's where they came in. That's where they come in. They come in through the drain! What? I told you they were freaks one, then, you know. Who cares if they go through a little bit of sludge? They don't. I mean, <laughs> oh, that's so gross, God. Oh, and, uh, and? They're kids. Children, whip a snip. Are you trying to tell me that a kid committed murder here? What? Kids! The dump? So on the photo that you erased, um, it was a boy, probably a second or third grade. My god, what? The- Well, that's an interesting twist! Oh, no! The quad? Huh? Let me get this straight. Oh my gosh, is that really the angle they're gonna- No, that's awful! I got you now, evil magistrate! Oh my god, put that thing down, kid! I is that what, what the dump? I saw two people pass the gate on the way to the studio that day. One was the steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy looking to be about in the third grade. Oh yeah, we see them type every day or so. Can't stop them, can't catch them, too fast. I'm like Sanic. Uh, a boy in the second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not possible, impo- yeah. What am I saying? Yeah, how was a little kid gonna use that big of a spear? Like, bruh. Also, why was the spear pointy anyways? What the crud? It's impossible with the samurai spear. Impossible, I'd think. It's quite heavy. I mean, holy crud, this thing, ugh. Right. As I said, I didn't pay much mind to it. Wait, crap, that doesn't help our case. Crud. That's why I erased the data. Nick, what is going on? Why am I feeling lethargic? Is it time for lunch? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect, right? Yeah. They've already tried to unsuspect him. Maybe someone used the boy as, like, a distraction or something? I don't know. Like, convinced him. Like, I don't know. I go out now, take a five minute recess. I'm gonna eat Reese's, because it rhymes with recess. But just barely. I want the defense of the prosecution to consider this new info. And not forgetting vital information this time. God. Yeah, no kidding. Ugh. Man, this isn't as easy as I thought. What's going on in this case, man? Oh, hey, whoa, 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 what? You're here? Mr. Powers? Y yes Uh, tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio. Oh, I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honestly. Mm, so, who was the Steel Samurai in this security photo? Uh, how should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it. Really? N what? You didn't, you didn't lock your door, huh? You should take better care of your stuff, man. For real. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a Steel Samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good, man. Uh, you're the only likely suspect right now. Nick, hey, come on, sugarcoat it a little. He's a celebrity. What are we gonna do now? First, we play for more time. Time? What? We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Okay? Right. We're gonna be underhanded lawyers. Gotcha. Not, not like that, my. Uh. It'll take them so long to shoot us down that we'll get another day. 
All right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose that on the spot. Oh, gosh. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. <laughs> Phoenix! What? Hey, Nick. It's time. Okay, let's go. <sighs> God. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. <laughs> You're not giving me a lot to work with. It's your kind of fault, too. I don't... Oh, uh, whatever. Court will now reconvene for the trial, Mr. Powers. My blood sugar's dropping. We gotta hustle. Oh, God. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thought on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. You calling him stupid? Nothing has changed. What? What the? Nothing? The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do not have- wait, the photo we do have many- Oh my god, I need my glasses, Jesus. The photo we do not- we do have may- crap! The photo we do have- <clears throat> The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. Yeah? But there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Uh, yeah, um, very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. This, okay, this is underhanded, but we're just gonna try and pin it on Glasses Girl till we get more info. That's how I'm feeling, but is that gonna really happen? There is another person who could have committed this crime. I guess. Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. Oh gosh. Uh, if you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right. Great. Okay. Um. As if the stakes weren't high enough. Okay. So who is this person? Oh wait, we're only using two bars. That's fine. Uh. Who is the person that might have committed the murder? Uh, well, the schoolboy's innocent. Security lady has an alibi, as cruddy as it is. Uh, we don't have a choice. I'm sorry, Bay. Uh, it was the assistant. The steel samurai costume was in the dressing room. She stole it, and in doing so, she became the steel samurai. So, saying the steel samurai in the picture is really the assistant? That's correct, Your Honor. Okay. I hate that he takes so long to talk. If you're serious, you've got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't the Steel Samurai a little lame? He was dragging his foot. Uh-oh. Bad feeling time. Remember the testimony concerning Power's injury? Uh, Powers and poor Ham were at the run-through. Oh, and me. What about the assistant? Mm, huh? She was cleaning up. Yeah, dang it! She didn't know about Powers' ankle. But how do you know that? The assistant knew nothing of Mr. Powers' injury. She could look at the Steel Samurai. She could look the Steel Samurai look with that costume, but she couldn't walk the walk. She wouldn't have limped. Uh, oh gosh! That kind of takes the legs out of legs from under the case. <laughs> Maya, shut up, Mr. Wright. You see this bar? I'm afraid I have to take some pieces of what- God dang it, no! Ah! Uh, nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows. May we move on? Ah! This fight isn't over. <clears throat> if you would, Your Honor, one more chance. <sighs> fine. So, we could say it was the security late. I mean, I guess, uh, that's even, I'd say that's even rockier though. Oh, okay, shoot. It was the se the s security lady, Wendy Old Bag. Uh, uh, oh. The Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's injury. Maybe because they've been watching the scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady. Old bag! What? Whip a snap a what what'd you say? You got ears, you heard me. Shoot. Uh order! Order! Come on! Is this true, old bag? 
Old Bag, that's Miss Old Bag to you! Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi! I didn't even think of that, that's true. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume. So, then slipped into the studio room one, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing that thing? Simple, Your Honor. To pin it on Hammer. Dude, not Hammer, Will. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. Oh, I see. Excellent deduction, reasoning, Mr. Wright. Only took you two tries. <laughs> oh, yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes 2. Electric Boogaloo, baby. But, wait, uh, that's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Yeah, what gives? Doesn't he usually jump with when an objection and has some evidence? The dump. Well, Edgeworth, you're uncharacteristically silent. The heck is up with it? Wait, is he even in the room? Where would he go? Uh, does the prosecution have an opinion on the matter? Hmm. The prosecution has no meaningful objection at this time. What the fu- What? 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 What's that supposed to mean? Cause There's like not enough to go on in this case, dude. So you think I did it? Is that it? Oh, edgy boy, just, just sit there. Don't just sit there. Do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way. Don't give her a break. She's a t She probably did it. Get in there, man! Come on! The very same reason that Miss Mr. Powers is a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. Uh, but, but, but why do I do something so horrible to Mr. Hammer? I was literally in love with him. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. You forgot that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Yeah. The heck's up with that? Oh, no. That did. It. Yes. Now, Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Uh, wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy. The one who was photo erased. He's only a kid. Come on. Second, third grade, I couldn't pick up a spear. I could pick up a sword, though, and fight for my country. Uh, what, what, what is... Okay, uh, th that doesn't matter. When I was at that age, I could, uh, pin my old man in ten seconds tops. What? Oh, 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 uh, your thoughts, Mr. Wright? Uh, that boy is not the killer. Uh, what? How can you be so sure? Oh. <laughs> Better make her Omega Jewish. <laughs> I feel like that would make people upset. Oh, just... oh, yeah. Or was it to be too nice to the kids and be mean to your elders' day? Oh, whippersnapper. Okay, uh, I have proof. What? Huh? P -p proof Indeed. Let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. Yeah, proof that shows the boy could not have committed the murder? Uh... No. Wait, crap! This! The car key! He doesn't have that! The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. Dude, how could a boy with no formal relation to the studio have a card key? Yeah, I see. Oh. Well, the witness care to comment on this? Uh, how do I even do that on a monopia? Mrumf, The windbag, speechless. That's a shock. <laughs> this has got to be the first. Mm, very well. Huh? The court will suspend proceedings on the court trial for the d Oh, yeah, we have to go get more evidence. Thought we were going to end it here. Miss Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness. Like, talk to her or something. What the heck? Like, find out her name. For, for, uh, something old bag, I don't freaking care. Okay, then, uh, the prosecution will look further into the old bag before we continue. That is all. Court adjourned! I'm getting out of here! Woohoo! Spring break! But it's the middle of October. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah! Wait, 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 what? Wait a second! I'm not gonna just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. The wrong tree being me, okay? I'm talking. What? What the dump? Oh, great. Stop the presses. He wants to say something. Uh... Oh, bag! What's it now? 
Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, no. There's something I want to talk about. What? What? Not one. Not to talk about? What? By whom? What? Did I even read that right? I can't. What? What is happening in this trial? God. You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Huh? Well, well, well then testify. The dump. Oh my God. This is the 40th testimony. My lips were sealed. Why were they sealed? God. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. They were... Uh, some other people at the studio that did the... What the crud? They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me just to pretend they hadn't been at the studio that day. But if you're gonna accuse me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Huh? M Miss Old Bag, this you're under oath. I have you know. Uh, this is crucial information. Why should you keep this from us? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap. And well, I always do what I'm told. Oh my god! What the? This is gross. Also, what, th this is a bad dream, Your Honor. The witness power. Oh my! What is happening? Mr. Wright, please cross-examine the. Oh, I'm about to vomit. Oh, okay. But she's the same age. Yes, she's hideous. Is what she is, Venus. Global Studios want me. It's okay. What is or what is? We don't have anything left, bruh. What do we do? Global Studios want me to keep quiet. You're under oath. What's up with that? So you're told not to talk. Yeah, that's right, Mister. The studio and the TV bigwigs, no less. Why didn't I hear about this? Don't be too hard on yourself, Sonny. You're gonna get run in the face. We were all in on it. Uh, what? That's not good. What the dump? Okay, there were some of the other people the murder. The murder. They said they had nothing to do with it. You expect us to believe that? That's bull. Miss Old Bag. This is a trial for murder. I know, silly Willy. Still, they're pretty convincing. About having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on this. Huh? So you got your bonus and you still talked? What? This lady. She She's sus. She did it. You can't change my mind. We just have to find out how. But if you're going to keep accusing me, I'm not letting you get away scot free. You. What? Them. Who is them? Tell me! Who are these people? Well, the directator and the producer, for starters. The, the director is what you meant. We should have known something was fishy. I know, Edgeworth the Dump! This is not fair! What? How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Yeah, the director was there too! It was... Her opening statement, there's only four people there. It was one one of the four of them, and it wasn't me. Her next statement, so yeah, there was like, you know, 44 people, but, you know, I didn't look at all of them. Uh, well, I was surprised no one asked about it, that's all. Uh, I'm about to pop a blood vessel, I swear to God. So, where were these people? Yeah, I don't see them in this picture. Mm, the director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer at lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? Uh, Studio 2 trailer. What? There's a trailer there? There was a Studio 2. And also a trailer near Studio 2. What? Well, if you look at the guide map, it's right there. So She's got a point. Uh, You go through the gate, and you take a left. But the, tr the tree, the path where the monkey's head was falling over. Huh? Is she lying about that? I mean, you could obviously just, like, walk over the tree. I'm not denying that, but what? Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue? I think I've already asked all my questions. There's not a lot we can do. Uh, I feel like this is bait. But no, legit, I think we gotta take a break. Your Honor, we learned there was others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and, uh... Some big wigs were all present. I don't know what the crud that means, but yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that as impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Ah, <sighs> fine, whatever. God. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more info tomorrow, but not a day after. All right. More information about these other people 
have just been told of. <laughs> Dang, this is this is a pretty easy one. Edgeworth hardly said anything at all. Cause he didn't know what to say. He was just like, well, I'm screwed. Up. I understand, your honor. This ends the day of the proceedings of trial. After this, I'm leaving. Go adjourn. Okay. I'm gonna be level with y'all. Not my best episode. Cause first off, I can't read. Second off, I hate this old lady. Third off, she's just rambling utter nonsense. And it's really hard to see what the crud I'm supposed to do when I don't have a lot of evidence. Gosh. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Wright. Oh, stop mocking me. <laughs> I was right to ask you to defend me. Aww. It's nothing. Anything for a celebrity. Maya, you didn't do nothing. Just... Or should I say, um, uh, we're going to go down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They've turned up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for cross-examination. So, uh, Nick, have we figured out just who was in that Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been Old Bag? Maybe? What do you think, Mr. Powers? Or, Mr. Powers, what do you think? I don't think it was her. What? Huh? Are you sure? Because I really want her to not be here anymore. <laughs> uh, neither do I, Nick. Am I the only one that thinks she's... D I guess so. Crap. Okay, okay. Sorry. Uh, Look, I was, I was just buying time back there, all right? I didn't really think she did it. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, could an old lady really stat like kill a dude like that? Like, how old is she? She do Pilates? I don't know. Like, does she work out? Who knows? <laughs> Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure of Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I kind of feel sorry for her. Okay, now I'm over that. Now I don't. Uh, well, she wasn't winning any points in there with her, without my accusations. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right. We'll be back to visit soon. Don't sign any autographs without me. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> well, that was a giant waste of time. What the dump? 